I was a senior in high school. I was driving this car way too fast on a curvy road. I hit a patch of gravel and uh, I lost control of the car and I slammed into a telephone pole. And up until that point, I hadn't ever thought of illustration or comics as any kind of a job or career or anything like that. The car made me go, you know what? I'm being dragged on a gurney to a hospital. I don't wanna miss out on something important. Is there a monster or character that's you, that you've drawn? Oh gosh, probably all of them. Every time I draw somebody, every time I draw, I, I have to act out who they are. So I imagine if I'm sitting in a coffee shop, there are times like, I'm, I know, I know for a fact, there are times I'm sitting there and I'll be like, I'm drawing, oh, this character, there's a horrible noise and the character's holding his head. What does that look like? And I'm like this, okay. You know, and I, and I, but I kind of memorize what this looks like in my head and I go, oh, okay, so the elbows are at right angles and blah, 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 blah. But I'm sure there are people sitting there at the coffee shop going, what the hell is that guy doing? You know, cause, cause I'm just, I'm just like. I want there to be more of a internal emotion that comes through in the physical body of the character. You'll see in my work, I, I tend to get in real close with people, with the characters. Maybe sometimes to a fault, I get too close in, but it's kind of an urge on my part to show the inner emotions of a figure through the exterior movements of their face or their arms or their hands. And so you'll see a lot of shots where I kind of pull in close and you see someone's eyes. I want the reader to, to feel what the characters feel. Right now I'm working on The Only Living Boy, about a 13-year-old boy, Eric, who runs away from home falls asleep and finds himself awaking in a crazy fantasy world filled with monsters and crazy aliens and the world around him is in constant transition so there's no solid ground so he has to make his own solid ground and I think we all live with that you know 50 years ago you got a job and you stayed at the job for 50 years you know and uh, I remember when I went to when I went to art school this was a big thing like oh well how are you gonna survive you can't have a regular job as an artist but what I found is because I've been a freelance artist for as long as I have, you know, doing this for 20 years now, is things I've built myself are the foundation upon which I stand. And I think that's the lesson that every kid needs to hear. Make your own stuff, do your own thing. In a way, like, you know, the metaphor of a kid running through a world that's constantly trying to attack him is very much very similar to my life. <laughs>